Welcome to the Richard Lloyd USA YouTube channel. I'm Richard Lloyd. Today I'm doing a video on a Nuvi uh, 2597 uh, GPS unit, this one right here. Uh, what I'm going to show you is how to recalibrate the screen. Now, this is only, you only need to do this if it's gone out of calibration. Mine the other day, I left it on my dash and it got so hot in my car that it scrambled it and, uh, and it no longer registered my finger touches where it was supposed to. It'd have to hit like two letters down to get the letter above it. And it was like, oh no, did it, have I wrecked it? And, and I found out you can recalibrate the screen. And by recalibrating the screen, it now registers my finger in the right place. So in this video, what I'm going to do is show you how to reset the screen or how to calibrate the screen and on a Garmin Nuvi. And I believe that, you know, th though this is a, just a 2597, that it applies to all the Garmin's. Uh, the procedure is the same. So if uh, your finger no longer uh, presses the right key anymore, uh, when you hit uh, D, you get an R instead. Well, follow my video here and it will reset the uh, touchscreen, recalibrate it, and then it'll work right again. So let's get on and do it. Okay. We're going to start with the unit powered up. So power up the unit. And the reason for this is because there's two modes of shutting it off. You may not have it in the right one. So if you just hit the power button, you think it's off. It's actually on standby. It's not actually off. So if you click the button again, you can see how quickly it comes back up. So basically it was just, a, uh, you know, in power saving mode. So here we're going to hit agree. Then we're going to hold down the power button with me. It's up here in the top left. And I'm going to hold it down uh, for four seconds. There you go, and you see, now you've got the option to turn the device off, and we said OK, or off, sorry. Now you wait three or four seconds after that, and you hold, you put your finger up on the top left corner first, pressing down, and then power up the unit, and hold the power button down while pressing down on the corner. And you see that system, system, system going through. And keep holding the power button down and the left-hand corner down at the same time. When you see loading, you can let go. And there's the calibration screen. Now all you need to do is press the black dot on each uh, uh, crosshair. So let's do that. And the first one, some reasons, you have to hit it twice. Then we go to that crosshair. There we go. Again. And OK. okay I'll look, calibration complete. And that's it to calibrating your screen. Now. If it doesn't take right the first time, it's not quite where you want it, just do it again. And that's like I said, again, power it up. Just hold the power button down for four seconds. Turn it off. Wait four seconds. And then put your finger on the top left. Hit the power at the same time. System, system, system. Keep holding both down. Do you see loading? And I actually had to do it twice on mine when I when it happened. Uh, wasn't uh, it didn't take right the first time. So touch the dot. There you go. Takes a bit for that first one. That's it. That's how you calibrate the screen. That's it for my video on calibrating the touch screen on a Garmin Nuvi. Uh, if you like this video and it helped you out in some way, do me a huge favor and give me a thumbs up uh, somewhere on the bottom underneath the screen. Give me a thumbs up, a like. Uh, also, uh, if you find it useful and you can share it, I would appreciate that as well. Make sure to put your comments in the comments section below. I appreciate those. I answer them all the time and I really, really get a charge out of people's comments. Also, any video suggestions or any suggestions at all that you may have, please put them in the video description below. Sorry, in the video, in the comments section below. Uh, I appreciate all of them. Uh, I certainly do listen and a lot of my videos are made from comments or suggestions from you guys. So uh, again, I appreciate them and thank you so much for uh, commenting on my videos. It helps my videos as well. In the video description, I'll have affiliate links uh, to a bunch of a bunch of uh, uh, products, including you know the Garmin and so on, uh, and equipment that I use. Uh, those uh, help my, out my channel. If you're going to buy them, uh, uh, those uh, products anyway. Go through my affiliate links because uh, it doesn't cost you any more than going straight to Amazon and eBay either way. It's the same price and I get a little chunk of that sale and it helps me out uh, greatly. Um, also, 
you know, uh, subscribe to the channel if you like my content. And in the process of subscribing, make sure you hit the bell icon, the notification icon, uh, when you're doing that. That way you get notified every time I put up a new video and then you can watch it at your own leisure. Once again, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it and have a great day.